when I hear the word Albania or Albanian, the first thing that comes to my mind is crazy shit. And also this song. Red and black, I dress ego on my chest, got seven in Albania. Anyways, King Zog is a great example of what you expect from an Albanian. Like, look at this picture, you can't tell me this shit doesn't go hard. King Zog would survive over 50 assassination attempts and 600 Albanian blood feuds throughout his life. And if you're wondering what an Albanian blood feud is, it's kind of like, if I killed your dad, you would be socially obliged to kill me or one of my relatives. Anyways, let's get into this. Ahmed Mutar Zogoli, or just Zog, was born in northern Albania during the fall of 1895. Zog would study at Galatasaray High School until his father's death in 1911, where Zog would become governor of Mat. Later in 1912, Zog would participate in the Albanian Declaration of Independence. See, at the time, Albania was under the rule of the Ottoman Empire. During the coming years, Zog would fight in the First World War until he eventually returned home and got into politics and served a wide range of political roles, including Minister of the Interior, Chief of the Albanian Military, and Governor of Shkoder. And in 1923, shit would start to go down. Zog would encounter his first assassination attempt against him. A young Democrat would shoot him twice in the chest outside of Parliament. Zog would refuse to be evacuated and would continue to give his speech to the stunned Parliament while the shooter hid and refused to come out of the bathroom. Later in 1924, after the assassination of one of Zog's opponents, a leftist revolt would force Zog and 600 of his allies into exile. Zog would return to Albania with the backing of Yugoslav forces and General Pyotr Rangel's white Russian troops. This, of course, would place Zog as the Prime Minister of Albania. Zog would then officially be elected as the first president of Albania by the Constituent Assembly in 1925, and then crowned king in 1928. While Zog was king, he would face another major scare in 1931 while attending the opera in Vienna. While waiting outside, his bodyguard's head suddenly exploded when two assassins mistook his identity. Zog drew his gun and fired back at the assassins. You may be wondering why so many people would want this guy dead, and the reason's pretty simple. Zog just had a knack for making enemies. During his rise, he made enemies of Albania's communists, socialists, democrats, landowners, and tribes. And after becoming king, he drew closer to fascist Italy who lent the country money. Despite this reliance on Italy, Zog would default on debts and refuse to bow to Italian demands. Unsurprisingly, with the pressure from Italy, the state did not last much longer, and Zog was driven into exile in 1939, never to return.